friend of mine told me a story about a group of wild mustangs that were captured and someone actually managed to get this on video camera this whole scene that played out and so these horses were captured and one of the horses managed to get free and this horse looked back at all of his friends going off into captivity and he had a choice right then to go with his friends into captivity or to run away all alone into freedom and at that moment he felt powerless he felt like he was in that powerless situation where there was just no good choice to make and so he let out this groan um, and they actually captured this horse just letting out this groan of just pain but he chose freedom he chose to run off on his own and so um, sometimes we get into situations in life all of us go through this at times where we feel powerless and we just feel like there's no good decision and there's no way out and there's no way for us to control a situation and that is a horrible place to be but i just want to tell you that god has made us more powerful than any situation that would bring powerlessness into our lives and oftentimes we don't know how to step into powerfulness when everything around us is speaking powerlessness and seems impossible and seems like giants and so the thing that we need to do is we need to understand that our power is not within ourselves and within our circumstances but our power was is in God God is more powerful than everything and we are his children and so because we're his children we seated with him we become more powerful than anything on this earth realm and we start to live from another realm we start to live from the, the realm of heaven where we look at situations that seem powerless and we we get God's perspective and suddenly we don't feel powerless when we have God's perspective on those things. And so the first thing we want to do when we come into that powerless situation is to rest in the power of God. Just rest in the fact that He's powerful and that we're with Him. He's sharing His power with us. And that though we feel powerless, we're not powerless. Our prayers have power. Our actions have power. Who we are has power. We created to be powerful on the earth. And the other thing besides resting is we need to sometimes confront. Oftentimes, I often find, in fact, all the time it may not be straight away but but in every situation where we're powerless at some level we confront the giants and you know a perfect person to look at is david because david had to confront goliath you know no one in israel could confront goliath goliath for whatever reason they could not confront that giant but david looked at that giant and he knew that in the past he'd confronted giants because God was more powerful than him and so he was able to confront them and so when he looked at that giant instead of feeling powerlessness instead of feeling like wow I'm so much smaller I have nothing that I could do that could that could come against that giant and look everyone around me has given into powerlessness so that makes me powerless instead of taking on that mindset David looked at that giant and he thought you know what who is that to come against the power of God I know whose I am I know that I'm God's child I'm going to come against and I'm going to confront that giant in the power of God and he risked everything because he believed that the power that was in him was more powerful than that whole powerless environment that he was in and if you can just imagine everyone in that entire city felt the spirit of powerlessness and David went in there and he in the midst of that went into another realm and he started seeing it from heaven's perspective and he became powerful in that and he was able to change that whole situation and that's you and that's me because we are powerful people in God and nothing can stop us when we understand who we are in God you know one of the things that I do when I'm in a powerless situation is I listen for God to speak to me every day more and more I, I really just understand that hearing God is on a daily basis will will navigate me through that situation because we do not have a formula when we're in a powerless situation oftentimes we feel like we're the only people in that situation and nobody could understand but the reality is God sees everything and there is a formula in heaven there's a strategy in heaven for every powerless situation and God will release that strategy to us when we listen when we know that there's a strategy we believe there's a strategy and we listen for it attentively god will begin to release that to us and it may only come in pieces in fact it usually does come in pieces and it's just that walk of obedience of listening for the strategy of heaven every single day and god will make us powerful in a powerless situation you know there's so many stories in the bible that talk about powerless people in powerless situations who learn to find their power in God and they become powerful like David like Daniel 
who was captured and in his captivity he became a powerful man he became a man that could change the way that a king thought and I think about Esther she was powerless all her people were powerless they were going to be murdered and she yet she lay everything down to confront that because she knew that in God she was more powerful and she even thought she may die but she knew that she had to see things from heaven's perspective. She had to rise up. She had to be powerful in that powerless place. You know, there's many, many more stories. But God didn't let those stories be put in the Bible because he wanted to show us these incredible people. He, he showed us normal people so that we could understand that we are like those normal people. We are like Esther. We are like Daniel. We are like David. We are like Moses. We are just like those people who can be powerless in a powerless situation, but who choose to be powerful by seeing things from God's perspective, not accepting the powerless environment around us, but starting to live from heaven's realm and starting to breathe into that God's power and listening for strategies through our dreams, through the word of God, through him speaking to us, through other people, just listening for them all the time because God is going to release strategies to make you powerful in that powerless situation. So just one word of encouragement, rejoice and be happy because when you're living from heaven's perspective, every day is a good day. Every day is a happy day. Every day is a day for being happy and excited and having hope because heaven never loses its power and you have a seat right there. So you've got to choose in the midst of powerlessness to sit on your seat next to Jesus and next to the Father. And so um, here I'm going to show you my painting. Um, sorry, there's my hand. I'm sorry. And it's pretty difficult to show this to you. Just be patient with me. <laughs> sorry. You're going to see my whole studio, which is a little messy as usual. But there it is. And I'm going to post it online as well so that you get to see the, the horse. And um, I just want to thank you for listening to these videos. And next week, I'm going to have something else. God bless. Bye.